Okay, hello again. A new project for today. A good friend of mine, an old friend of mine, he's got a nephew and uh, he's got his car, you know, and the summer will be soon here and the car is not working anymore. So he asked me, can you fix it? Okay, I'll try to do that. I never fixed anything like this before, but uh, it's working like fun, you know. As I can see, there are two electric motors down there it's nothing special except the radio remote control the steering it's also electrical i may say the car is running by remote control or standalone it's a switch here like front or back and down there it's a simple switch as I can see it's just a switch for having the the motors on and off and also over here we have a plug for uh, recharging the battery I'm gonna start to eat the battery is this kind of uh, 12 volt AGM battery so this is the first step i'm going to put this to charge and to check it like uh, capacity and this stuffs the battery it's on and as i can see it's charging with 0 0.3 amps and uh, it says like full okay so now let's have a discharge and then i can find out the the real capacity okay so I have my extra charge on with this uh, bulbs. If you remember, I used that uh, when I was checking my uh, hybrid uh, nickel uh, metal hydride batteries. So this battery is 7.1 amps. Okay, this should be run very well because of the extra load here. I'm gonna have a current around uh, maybe 5 amps, 1 amp from here on 4.3 I remember from these ones. So, I expect if the battery is okay, I expect it for run maybe 1 hour or something. Let's go, let's see what's happening. So the light will be on as soon as the discharge is starting. Yes, so we have light here. Just let it run. Okay, I clean it up a little bit and I don't think it's a bad idea to have a couple of holes down here to let the water drain once in a while and uh, because I, I found a lot of moisture in here. I think this is one of the fuses. So I have to take this off and to see what's happening in here. The fuse it's okay. So let's have it back in place. And now let's fully gonna measure. That should be the battery plus and minus. So we have a plus here. Okay. And minus. Let's see what's happening. Oh, so we have we have something there. Let's push the acceleration. The gas pedal nothing happens so it's very possible to have a couple of relays or something inside here yes I'm gonna try to open that up to see what's inside there okay this is looking like the radio receiver and the kind of command box but so we have a couple of MOSFETs here and two relays they are looking like MOSFET and uh, for sure these are the the motor uh, command for backward or forward but I can see a coil and this is the antenna so I suppose all the um, all the other electronics are behind here oh yeah so we have a couple of ICs here and it's looking like uh, the radio controlled uh, module but uh, later I have to check if the relays are working properly I think the main problem is the gas pedal down here or maybe 
this switch for uh, for have it the sense of moving forward backward okay so the battery is uh, very okay we have like 45 minutes now and I have more than uh, 4 amps already so I don't want to stress it anymore the battery it's okay then so I put it to charge back the battery is pretty charged so we can do a test a fast test to see what's happening around here okay so the battery it's on and look here we have power properly okay now it's working <laughs> This is crazy. I love this. Um, now, I believe there is a problem with the switches and nothing happens. But first of all, I have to, to check if the motors are okay. So I disconnect the motor and I'm going to plug the motors directly to 12 volts from the battery. It's very possible the motors to be dead. Hmm. That hurts. It's looking like there is no contact with the motor. The motor is dead. One of them, at least. Let me check the multimeter. Nothing. That's number one here. Let's put this back for now. Here we go. Let's have number two. Multimeter. Okay, this is good. We should have movement on 12 volts. And it's okay. It's working. But the other one is broke. So we have to take it out. Uh, okay, so what I found until now one motor, this one here, is dead. And now I have to check all the wires and all this uh, and all these switches. This one's here, you see, and uh, afterwards to check the electronics. I have to take all these plastics out and to see if we have a problem with the switches. Okay, so these are all the switches so far. I'm gonna use the other side of the contact because it, here it was only three wires. So I'm gonna use this ones are new. Okay, this is good. Now we have to open this up. I, I don't think it's okay. We should have three position, but okay, so this is done. It's working properly. That's really, really nice. Let me just have a quick check here. All right. Nothing, nothing. Okay, because it's in the middle. Okay, if we turn like this, we have it here and here. Perfect. And the other way. Perfect. Next. That's why you open it up. You see, it have this this uh, gap here, so you just insert a screwdriver and push it a little bit forward, and there we are. And what I got here is very clear. It's kind of oxidation. Clean it nice. A little bit of and paper but I'm gonna have a little bit of fat on the contacts too doesn't hurt voila all we have to do now is just to put it nice and slowly back there we are and now let's check and it's okay here and now we have the other one perfect this is nice and the last one, and very important because I got a feeling this one is really, really used. How are we gonna open this one? Same story. You see the gap here? I can't have the, the screwdriver in there, but I can take it from here. Yes! I mean, it's it's even better with this kind of springs and contacts here okay it's 
spray. And now let's have this back in place. So I got all these switches uh, cleaned up. And now I've done speed and reverse and so on on the gas pedal too. The electronics looks okay until now, so I'm going to put all the things back together and give it a try to see if it's uh, working and it was only the switches. Uh, all I can say for now is that um, they, they've been ruined, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so all the switches are back in place. May I open the door please? <laughs> so uh, it's time to connect the battery. <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> Look there, this is nuts. Okay, so let's say we have this. Oh, we have lights in the front. Oh my god. Um, low speed pedal. And let's say forward. And now if we press the pedal, the gas, we should have power to one of the motor. Here we go. So it's working backwards. This is nice. So it's working high speed and backwards. Let's see the front. Yeah. Low speed, nothing. So the low speed is not working. Why not? I'm afraid this high and low speed it's a matter of connecting and disconnecting the motors. Maybe they are going in series or they are going in parallels or something. Because if I put the switch in the other position we have the same results. And uh, it's not a matter of switch here. Okay. So you see, I have to take the wheel off, and I have this uh, this nut here, and we have only professional tools, <laughs> a dinner key. Okay, so the motor is out, and I was really, really afraid that the motor, that the, mot that the motor is burned or, you know, off. But it was just a simple wire. And this is really great. I'm going to solder back and then we can do some testings again. Being here already, I'm thinking about uh, opening up the gear case and to have some grease over there too. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Look here. This is a really mechanical something. The motor is back in place and it's exactly what I was thinking about. The low speed puts the motor in series somehow. So now we are on a low speed here and we have power. Oh, forward. Oh, this is nice, I love it. Now high speed, low speed. It's time to put all the things together or back together and uh, that's it. Okay, it's done. Everything is back in place here. The guards are okay. And uh, let's see. We push the gas. Let's push the gas. Working. Working. High speed. Oi. 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 One last thing I have to, to check. The charging port, and let me see if it, uh, if it have a limiter or something. And uh, yes, the charging port it's working, and we have a current here like uh, sixty. Okay, it's going down like half of amp, five hundred milliamps. This is great, and I want to see if it stops after a while. Some last words I want to say. We have a, a volume here and we have a... This is crazy. And music, even music. I 
and uh, you can see here I think this is an input for playing your own mp3 player or something anyway I didn't uh, check that you know it's a nice touch I think that's it for now folks thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy it bye bye <laughs>